Hello everyone and welcome back to Movement. This week what we are going to do is explore our own bodies and the way our bodies move. First, I just want you to pay attention to how your body moves and then as the exercise continues, what I want you to do is start pushing yourself. See what you can do and start testing your limits. We want to know what our bodies are capable of. And this is going to be called contact improvisation. Or this activity, I guess we can also call moving through the space. Because that's what you're going to do. What you need in order to do this activity is you need to find a space in your house or outside. It doesn't matter. You just need space to move. Good. Once you have that, you're going to want some a music of some kind. You're going to want music. Music is there to fill the space. And if you start to feel self-conscious, you can kind of give over to the music. So find music and a space. Once you have that, come back and we'll get started. OK, what we're going to do now is the first thing that I want you to do and what we're going to do repeatedly is cross from one end of the room to the other. That's it. But the first time, all I want you to do is just walk across the space. Walk across the space and pay attention to how your body moves. Just walk and be you. Good. Turn around and come on back. Perfect. Now we have a baseline of how you move. What we're going to do now is start playing with different parts of our body and moving with that intention. We're going to have that part of our body lead us through the space. And the first thing that I want you to do is lead with your feet or lead with your toes. That means your feet are going to move into the space and enter the space before you do. And you may feel like a prince. You may feel like a dancer. You may feel like a bunch of different things, but what I want you to do is start moving through the space and don't just walk with kicking your feet out. You can, but you're not really doing anything special. Don't do something ordinary if you can do something extraordinary. So what I want you to do is start moving through the space, but allow your feet to pull you in any direction. Allow them to move and also let it move through your body. So cross the space with your feet leading you into this space and into this world. Good. Once you're done, now come back. But now what I want you to do is even though your feet are leading through the space, I want there to be ripples of movement that go all throughout your body. So if you enter and your foot goes, but your body has to respond, right? The rest of your body has to move with that foot. And so I want you to see what is possible. Jump up in the air and twinkle your toes. Move as many ways as you possibly can. Again, test yourself. Show yourself what you can do. Impress yourself. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to move with our knees. We are leading into the space. We are leading our movements through our knees. You could start to feel like a soldier and just start marching and your knees are entering the space or maybe you're scared or you're cold and your knees start shaking and I want you to move throughout the space but I want you to start exploring and move, find all the different ways that you can move with your knees. And if you're feeling a little self-conscious, allow the music to inspire you. Move with the beat. Give in to the music. The more you give in and you stop thinking here, right? And you start thinking with your body, the better you're going to be. Good, now come back, but see if you can push yourself. What extraordinary thing can you do while leading with your knees and move throughout the space? Good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move with our hips. So I want you to start shaking your hips and move and See how your body is influenced if your hips are what enter the world. If your hips, if you want to move to the right and you go boom and you, that's how you enter. Oh, I'm going to turn. Well, my hips are going to show me. They're going to show my body how I enter this space. So move throughout the space and have your hips move and initiate that. Good. Now on your way back, what I want you to do is push yourself. See if you can make that movement bigger. See what you can do. How does your body ripple out from your hips? 
because now it's gonna ripple and your feet and your head are going to hit at different moments and see how that feels. How does that, if a movement starts here, how does it end at your fingertips? Good. Next, what I want you to do is we're gonna move with our stomach. So you're gonna start to feel like a belly dancer and I want you to move and your stomach is initiating the movement and start moving through the space. Move to the left, to the right, move up, move down, move anywhere around the space, but have it be from your stomach. And that is what moves you through the space and see if you can move, see if you can dance with your stomach. Good. Now come back and do some extraordinary things. Push it. If you already did that move, try something else. See what else you can do. This is you exploring your body. Good. Now we are moving to our shoulders and our chest. And so I want you to move throughout the space. And you can make these individual movements if you want. You can go just with your chest and then you can go just with your shoulders because you can initiate the moves however you want with just your shoulders. And that's cool. But move throughout the space and do as many amazing things as you can. See if you can dance and move through the space with just your shoulders. Good. Now come back and do some extraordinary things. Don't do something ordinary. If you don't have the same walk coming back that you did going there, you are more talented than that. Next, what I want you to do is move and initiate with your hands. So this may feel like you're at a rave and you start dancing with your hands and allow your hands and your fingertips to initiate the world, to move. Maybe you're swimming, maybe you're lifting, maybe you're flowing. It could be a bunch of different things, but I want you to move throughout the space. Good. Come back and do something extraordinary. Move and test yourself. Good. Now what we are gonna do is you're gonna move with your head and you're going to allow your head to initiate all of the movements that you do. You're gonna enter the world with your head. Good. Move throughout the space. See what you can do. See how your perspective changes, right? When your attention changes, your intention with the movements also change. So move throughout the space and then come back and push yourself, do something extraordinary. Good. Next, what you're gonna do is we're gonna play with gravity and weight. So what I want you to do is start moving through the space, but you're going to be on the ground. So you could be rolling, doing somersaults, crawling, but I want you to move through the space, but you're going to be paying attention to the relationship with gravity and how it's pulling you down. And I want you to try and explore all of the different waves of moving across the space while being on the ground. Good. Now come back and do something different. Test yourself. Try new things. There's no one around, so don't worry about what other people think. Worry about what you think. Good. Next, what we're gonna do is the opposite of that. I want everything you do to be about height. How high can you get in the air? How much can you jump? See how light you can feel. So move throughout the space, but I want you to be up in the air the entire time, as much as you can. Jump, spin, do whatever you feel like. Good. See how you can test yourself. See what extraordinary things you can do and come back and push yourself even more good. Finally, what I want you to do now is I want you to move throughout the space, but I want you to find space. See, if I'm here, there's space here in between my arms. There's space around my head. But then if I look around, there's space all around me. And I want you to go and fill as much of the space around you as you can. And as soon as you fill that space, I want you to constantly be looking for additional spaces that you could occupy and I want you to go and try to be there and be as many places as you can in as many different ways as you can. Go and find a chair and look at the, where, the different spaces that are available under each leg. Maybe the back of the chair has a hole in it and there's space there that you could be in. I want you to start moving through the space being aware of occupying as much space as possible. And on your way back, do the same thing. Good. 
Now our true final test is now I want you to walk across the space, but I want you to move in as many different ways as possible. Not like you, but now influenced by all of the different parts and ways your body can move. And I want you to move as many ways as possible as you cross the space. Turn around and come on back. Congratulations, everyone. We are now done. I'm sure you were tired. And what I want you to do now is go over to the discussion board. And I want you to write about what you learned. What parts were easy and what parts were difficult during this exercise? What did you learn about yourself? Were you able to do anything extraordinary? And if so, what was it? Tell us about it. See, when you have a breakthrough, we all are inspired to have a breakthrough as well and your breakthroughs teach us how we can break through. So share with us all of your triumphs, but also share with us your struggles too. What was hard? Why? Wonderful. All right, everybody, I can't wait to learn about what you learned. So I'll see you in the discussion board and I'll see you soon.